Howdy everyone, Scott Free For All here. We're back on Osada. I wanted to start by explaining what actually happened with this snafu of my contract not working. I was delivering the um, sorghum over here. And what I learned is this is where I should have been dropping it and everything would have been fine. So a bit of a bonehead move on my part. Also, I wanted to thank uh, Gaia Warrior and Fightin' Farmer for pointing that out to me in the comments. Thank you. Uh, so you will also see that I did, as I said, I changed my money to uh, be what I started with at the beginning of the episode, plus the, uh, it was uh, $1,342. And so now we have the correct amount. What I also wanted to do was uh, get my pickup out of the middle of the field. I left it here when we were doing the fertilizing. So as I drive back to the farm, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to advance to the next day, and then we're going to tend to uh, our fields if we need to. And from there, we may do another contract. I'm not sure at that point. All right. All right. Let's go to the next day. All right. Let's take a look at our fields. See if they need any help. Okay, well, right away, I can see that field 14 and field two have taken on some weeds. Are they the big kind or the little kind? I would imagine they are the little kind. They are small weeds that can be dealt with using the weeder. Good. We have a weeder. Let's go ahead and get that done. My weeder's on the other side. Tight fit. All right. My goodness. All right. I think I'm going to leave the forks right here for now. We don't need them, and I can only get in trouble by having them connected. All right, we'll do field two first. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see how well I did in getting all the weeds out. You know, I did really well. Uh, there's just this one little bit. I'll get that and we'll move on to the other field. Done. Okay. 
Great. Let's go do the other field. And I should really turn traffic back on. That's just, it should, that's only fair, right? Okay. Build 14, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it long term. I'll probably harvest the field. And then after, I think I'm going to sell it in order for us to do something different with the money. So I say, we'll either do that or we're going to buy a field next to it and expand the field. It's just this little bitty strip of field. It's just a little... interesting to deal with. Just a little bit of a headland here. Just so I don't have to go too far out into the road each time. That should be plenty. I think I'm just going to continue on this side. I'm going to go over about one weeder's width. I'm going to align to 270 degrees, and we're going to go. And I think we'll do a little bit of a montage to finish this up. Okay, this should be the last pass. I think we got it all. We'll do a quick check before we head back to the farm. Okay, did we get it all? We did. All right. Job well done. 
Head back to the farm. All right, I have an idea of what to do next. I have a little bit of extra income now. So I want to see about adding a shelf where we can store our pallets of seed and fertilizer. I'll show you what I mean. I want to put the shelf right here and get rid of this bush. And that way we've just got a nice clean access to our seasoned fertilizer. Let's see how much one costs. Okay, we also have this heavy-duty shelf. I've used this before. It's a thousand dollars. And then we have this metal shelf. I like that quite a bit for fifteen hundred dollars. I think we'll use this one. A little bit cheaper. I know it works. We'll put it right there. Okay. And then we'll do some smoothing. And then let's paint a little bit of concrete here, or maybe we can do some gravel. Yeah, I think gravel would be nice. There. I like that. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, now that we've got that, let's put our big bags of lime up there. It was just really bugging me having these lime pallets here right up next to my house. You know, my uh, front loading skills are not wonderful, but we'll give it a go. I think I'm going to put the lime over here. There we go. There we are. All right. Good enough. Now, speaking of lime, I did learn that there is a buy lime bot, and it's very close to my farm. Next time we're in need of it, we will buy some there. We're going to use this first, obviously. Oh great. I had my fork stuck in the in the shelf. All right. I guess that's good enough. I'm going to straighten this one up just a little bit cuz it's going to drive me crazy. There. Okay. I like it. All right, now, what I want to do next is I'd like to do 
a contract and I've been looking at the list of contracts and build seven where we were last episode um, harvesting uh, and having our mishaps <laughs> We can now cultivate field seven. So I would like to do that. I'm going to accept that contract. And to do the cultivating, I want to upgrade our cultivator. Let me show you what I mean. Cultivator we own right now is this uh, Rob, Rabe, Rabe. I don't know how to say it. Uh, it's only 2.5 meters wide. Uh, we can get over $7,000 for it if we sell it. So I want to do that, trade it in for something a little bigger and better. That also is kind of uh, befitting, our, uh, befitting our series here in Poland. So I'm going to go get our cultivator, which is not over there. It is over here. And then I think it's also important for us to buy a weight, a front weight. So we will also buy a front weight for this tractor now that we can put one on our front three point. So I'll do that and I will see you over at the dealership. All right, here we are. Yeah, we've got some clouds in the sky now, so it's a little darker. And it looks like we have rain in the forecast. Hopefully that won't affect our ability to complete our contract. All right, so we can get almost $8,000 for that. That's really good. Let's do an $8 repair on it, and we'll sell it. Look at that. Seven. Point nine thousand. All right. Hey, let's go into the shop and I will show you the cultivator I'm interested in. So the one I'm interested in is this PB3-051. Not the most exciting name. I think it's a, a check. Um, based on a Czech cultivator, it looks really cool. I think we'll, I think we'll, uh, just leave it its base color. And so let's buy that with the heavy harrow so there's no extra charge. That's a really cheap cultivator for a five meter cultivator. Yeah, that's a good deal. And then let's pick up a weight as well. I think we'll do the cloth weight because we can uh, upgrade it to 1500 later on if we want to. So let's do that. All right. And well, it has started to rain. So I guess we're going to cultivate in the mud. In real life, you wouldn't be able to do that, but in this game, we can do that. You know, one thing I'd like to do, let's see, let's check the weather. Let's see when the rain is going to end. It's going to end soon. So I think I'm just going to speed up time, get us out of this rain. Okay. The rain has passed. Looks like it's going to rain again soon. So let me see when that is. Not for several hours. So that's good. 
All right, let's head back to the farm. Oh, I like this cult cultivator. Look how everything kind of uh, wiggles around. <laughs> Very nice. And the rain cleaned off all cleaned off our tractor. All right, field seven is right here to the left. So we can just jump in and get started. just about done with this I didn't say this earlier but my eventual plan is to purchase field 7 I really like this field it's a nice shape it's not far from the farm and we don't have enough money to buy it yet so I think we'll just continue to do contracts on it uh, until we can afford it we'll probably trade in one of our current fields after we've harvested it uh, to help pay this uh, price for this field. I think it's about 60 ish thousand dollars. We might even take out a small loan if we need to. But anyway, that's the ultimate plan. This contract is finished. Let's collect our money. All right. $1,342. So we have a total now of $8,650, and that's after upgrading our cultivator and buying a weight. So not a bad day's work. We've got the weeds out of our fields. We got some rain on our crops. I think I'm going to call it a day. We'll get this parked. And we got some shelving to better organize our containers. I will put this right here. All right, guys, really appreciate you joining me today. I hope to have a video out a little later this week. Until then, take care. My name is Scott Free For All. I will see you later.